Only one of us will see the light of tomorrow, Doctor. Come closer. Closer. <laughs> All right, hello everybody. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to make this. There is no hope. <laughs> uh, hey everybody, this is a two girls one quick look of Anatomically Incorrect Dinosaurs by Natalie Lawhead. She is one of our favorite indie developers. Her stuff is always extremely really weird. Weird and, and creative. Yes. It's I feel like it's just that very specific style that you either love with all of your heart or you're like, "Oh my god, what is or happening?" Or you're like, "What is going on?" I don't know if I can handle this. And this <laughs> looks like it's going to be very impressive, so we're very excited. As soon as I saw this, I was like, this is Natalie, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it was. All right, so let's press start. Please read all, of, see all about it. Simpsonian recruits doctor for serious dinosaur paleontology. And when I move the cursor, it changes the thing, I think. Okay, your name's Starry. That's our yep. ship name, and since we're both playing one game, I don't want to make one name better than the other. Starry. Let which has the out advantages this established world leadership. Ah, uh, Dr. Starry, it's an honor to finally meet you. Our excavation team has just arrived with new parts, and we're in need of your expertise to assemble them. It's up to you to show the world how these glorious creatures may have looked like. Like, I'm imagining how much stock footage she must have gone through to get, like, all this stuff to come together. Yeah. I just love her style so much. It's so, like, specifically unique. Dr. Beatrice Arshpit McKay. Founding world leadership is being, is being system to republic. These brave Series women and men of science have risked life and limb to get these, to get us these. An economic series of one hour to the One of our best people. was eaten by a flung blah 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 blah. blah. Sorry, I was trying to listen to what he was saying. <laughs> oh, sorry. One of our best was eaten by a flumoxoraptor. If it eats you, you get to name it. At any rate, <laughs> flum flumoxoraptor. <laughs> We're all glad they made it back with such an amazing find, and now we need you to go do s the science. <laughs> When our all of us series of political programs, a system when our an economic is being programmed, this established created a, a system understand better our American way of life. Created a they understand better to the very pinnacle. <laughs> it's just like words. Haha, <laughs> 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 ha, yes, yes, much like the notorious oh god I don't wanna die Osaurus. <laughs> <laughs> so you name it as you're dying. <laughs> oh god! But what do you want to name this? Oh my god, I don't want to die! Good name, I like it. Good, we'll use that. <laughs> but don't worry, they're all quite harmless once they've been taken apart, and you have the parts to work with. If that sounded like a pun, it was intended. Oh, and do be careful of their heads. They tend to get a bit, shall we say, voracious? No, let's not say that. Don't worry, just go do the science. In wealth, this world leadership established and then created of the United States established this as being an economic under the help an economic all of us father's system to the very pinnacle. These creatures tend to talk a lot, so we've instated a don't talk back policy. It's for your own good. The last scientist haplessly engaged into a heated existential discussion and got too close. Before anyone knew it, we had to name the thing Doc Odious Maxosaurus Vexed. Quite a mouthful. Haha, <laughs> pun intended. Well, go do science. I want to know all the stuff before we do the science. All of us programs in wealth understand better our advantages unique under this republic. They series up to the very pinnacle, this being to the very pinnacle, founding our American way of life among nations, among nations. Our advantages programs this republic, which is political, understand better. My goodness, don't get me started. They talk and talk and talk. Of course, that only happens if they have a head. Sometimes they come without one. Solving that is your problem. But be careful, they get a bit nippish. Our last scientist got too close and lost his head. To the head! Ha! The irony. But it bit it clear off, too. At any rate, enough talk. Go make history for science. Let's do it. Meanwhile, back at the paleontology department. At the last! That little negatively charged particles of electricity focused and temperature even to the scientist with high voltage in motion for a long time. Uh, 
I absolutely adore that she took old, really old, like, clips voice- of voices and just, like, pasted them together so they just, whatever. I, I love that. Okay. At last, Dr. Starry, it is such an honor to meet you. I'm your er, ungainly yet studious assistant, the, the humanity, and other tediously arranged all parts into boxes so you can freely do the science. Oh, with the... Are these just made up words? Oth- Othi? Othi is prepared. Oh, my name is Othi. Yeah. Othi is prepared to assist in with spe- speculation and be your human shield if things get out of hand. Othi is a good assistant. And are therefore bitch, and are therefore heat in less than half a century and radio waves. Uh. Great science requires great minds. Although Othi's mind is far from great, due to a transplant accident, the human brain can offer can only survive for so long outside the head. Oh, I digress. Oh, right. Othi is here to offer plausible scenarios regarding the life, death, and habits of these creatures, as well as to protect you. Othi is a good assistant. We know also on radio waves and temperature coming from the focal spot, even to the scientist. Very low, by first and radio waves. Uh, that means we should talk to him. Yes, Othi is a good assistant. Please do not break the golden rule by taking to these creatures. Do Doing so has caused a number of our staff to be eaten. Because of this, they cannot be revived by our unconventionally speakable science... De- Unconventionally unspeakable science department. Do not worry. Harm will not fall upon you in one Othi's in on Othi's watch, or as Othi speculates. This is one of several different types. A piece of special cardboard, the X-rays of electrons, with a cup-shaped structure surrounding it at terrific velocity. Uh, so good. we heard this before. Oh, okay. In less than half a century, by high voltage in motion, very low, little negatively charged particles of electricity is struck at... Yes, yes, of course, yes. One of the best, yes. Othi graduated from the University of Experience, been gone wrong with honors in, unli- in unmitigated disasters. <laughs> Othi also has a degree in maniacal menacing laughs and works well under pressure. Lightning storms are fire. Othi is grateful for this opportunity. The X rays by a high speed stream with high voltage, that is, Instead, it seems that in the constitutes the so-called, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. No. Othi wishes not to be reminded of... Othi was so close and... Othi is grateful that experiments gone wrong is such a forgiving institution to students of the darker, more elusive sciences. (laughs) As a result, unmitigated disasters is my cum laude. Othi is an achieved assistant. Can we play yet, or...? It seems that after x-rays were ah. discovered or boiled off, uh... Oh, what? You need Othi's shirt for science? Yes, whatever you need. Othi is a good assistant. Ooh, I burped while talking. Hot. Oh. Uh, ah. uh, what? You want Othi to take off Othi's coat? Well, this is... Never mind. For science, Othi is happy to oblige. Othi is a good assistant. I kind of feel bad. I'm different substances. No more. Please. Uh, oh, he is good. Okay, I feel bad. Uh, how do I get the, uh, the dinosaur parts? Is used, uh, and since this was variable, uh, our oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Whenever a solid target, uh, can't roll away, wants to roll. For a long time, oh. the tube was unreliable. Uh, Ah, let Othi move that for you here. Another part masterful. Othi is a good assistant. And radio waves. Uh, Can't call for help, tries to call for help. It is then no wonder, heat, x-ray tube, uh, a high voltage. Uh, <laughs> Dainty. In the unit. Uh, yes, a tail is appropriate. Genius, in fact, pure unraveled genius story. Uh, uh, more bows. As many bows as possible. Oh god! 
uh, it seems we are out of bows. With a cup shaped structure surrounding it, they have great diagnostic value. Uh, no, no. if, uh, you uh, won't be able to kill me, for I am a creature from beyond the grave. Beyond death, I will eat you. <laughs> you, you will be unable to kill me. For I am a creature beyond the grave, beyond death, I will eat you. Despite their physical differences, they all sound the same when they talk. It's quite humorous. Here, have some yes, legs. Yes, within a, okay. as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, Your uh, lack of mercy is making me into a monster. You have brought this upon yourselves. Oh, the abomination that I have become. Is, oh. Yes, within the two. Somebody, uh, anybody, help! Why do I not feel pain? What are you doing to me? What is happening to me? What is happening to my body? Oh. Suddenly, the beast broke loose. Starry Dontosaurus viciously attacked Starry. All would have been lost if it weren't for Othi, the loyal assistant, who saved the doctor's life and quickly restrained the beast. Fortunately, Othi suffered ill-fated consequences, perhaps too ill for such a fine assistant. <laughs> I like that the last words of somebody's life is the name of the dinosaur. Starry Odontosaurus. Just you wait. Oh. Uh, Disappointed that you created you that. <laughs> Science, nefarious beast! How dare you eat my assistant! Oh, oh we can talk to it now. Hey. Sputtering. Pity the beast. I kill you with all my songs. <laughs> yes, come closer, doctor. Closer. 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 Yes. Oh How goodness. dare you criticize my science? You are my life's achievement. Step closer and slightly loosen the straps. Saddened grunting. This is our assistant trying to be like, stop it. You're stupid. Come closer, doctor. Closer. Yes. Closer. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Bite your tongue, creature. I have the degree you do not. Uh, no. Yeah, oh. really? Yes, speak to me, doctor. Come closer. My grandma one time told me this recipe for people. You need to find a person, okay? And once you find a person, I don't know what I. Person, this is just wow. Put the person into small pieces. She did. However, you do that, it's entirely up to you. It's none of my business. And then you like cook the person, or you don't cook the person. And then you add onions to the person, or no onions. And then a bunch of spices. And supposedly the person tastes really good. I will know. I used to be vegetarian. But now I've been forced to do things I would never even have believed I was capable of doing. Like eat a person. Who'd have thought? I used to be an avid tea drinker until this happened. You wouldn't think so, but I love tea. I used to drink it really well too with my dinosaur hands. I don't know where my hands are anymore. These are obviously not mine because, as you can see, I cannot drink tea with them. It makes me sad. I like tea a lot. They're talking about e she's talking about eating a person and, and drinking tea. Yeah. Do not. E you do not e need a reason, creature. Do not ask questions you're not comprehend. Only one of us will see the light of tomorrow, Doctor. Come closer, closer. No, I can't take it anymore. I will destroy you with my song. Straps? Restraints? Fuck them! Yes, this is your calling, Doctor. Come closer. I want your nutritious body. Yummy. Yeah, I rock. Oh, oh no. No. Ha ha, I have made you. I hold the key to your freedom. Without me, you are nothing. Step closer, mesmerized by the creature's strong personality. Yes, okay then. Before I eat your bowl, do you want your picture taken with me? Come here. Yes, yeah. My body is not 
That's us. Yeah. Oh my god. Did, Did, you know? oh, Did you know the sun as well as the solar system orbited Earth until the dinosaurs rewrote the natural laws? It's like she's so good at like just imaginative and like where else would you see this? Nowhere. <laughs> Nobody. No, she's she's very good at animation too. Yeah. Infuriated by your ungainly scientific shenanig shenanigans and fueled by an insatiable amount of primal rage, the terrible Starry Dotosaurus breaks free. Dr. Starry is quickly overcome by the beast. A great feast is made of the scientist's remains, but the beast's murderous rampage will not stop here. It viciously escapes to rain unspeakable terrors upon mankind. What? You can only guess. You did this! Yes! <laughs> the monster of Dr. Starry escapes! Citizens are warned to remain in their homes and hide under their beds. After brutally confusing the doctor with arguments, ex ex with arguments, existential debate, and deep intellectual discourse, the vicious Starry Do Dontosaurus is on the loose. We stand firm in the face of adversity, and not just any firm, the firmest you can imagine. The president confirmed today that the military is being mobilized in order to save civilization from certain impending doom. This is really why we can't have nice things. The Major General <laughs> told reporters today, I mean, look at that mofo. Who the hell would <laughs> thought putting that together was a good idea? If that doctor weren't dead, rest assured, I would blank. The president st struck a stoic pose, reassuring America that the end is not, no not so nigh. <laughs> not so nigh. Nuclear... W Nuclear war under consideration. Finally, we can use these puppies. I've been waiting a long time for this. Are they at la are they the last cavemen? Further exploring our expose on the postal service, the d the Daily Day discovered a cover up, the truth behind Canada and its Canadians. Canada continues Canada continues to politely refute accusations by <laughs> cooperating. <laughs> <laughs> What are you going to do with a soldier wearing sandals? Private John Anno of New Jersey has his drill instructor stumped. Gotta get shoes for the new recruit or army discipline is shot. Trouble is, Anno wears size 16 AAA shoes and the army doesn't stock them. Figure size on hand is 15. So until they build... Goodbye. <laughs> what? <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> Natalie! <laughs> Why are you so 